Hey, now that I've finished my dissertation, I thought I would actually talk to you all about what I've actually been studying at Cambridge. Because before I came to Cambridge, I had no idea what it meant to research philosophy or anything like that. Because if you've been following me, you know I did a maths degree at undergraduate. And to me, researching a maths degree, researching in a maths degree sounds like quite easy. It's like, oh, well, you're figuring out some maths problem. But researching in the arts and things like philosophy, I'm like, do you have to like sit there and have some amazing, incredible thought? <laughs> um, and no, it, it was not like that. I certainly did not sit and have amazing, incredible thoughts. <laughs> so my course is History and Philosophy of Science and Medicine, and it's a research course. It's entirely research based. And it was a bit strange coming from a taught maths degree to suddenly researching something completely different. And the degree is made up of three essays and a dissertation and you, in normally in undergraduate essays it's like you will be given a question like what, what would a stoic say about abortion? I don't know. <laughs> and then you would write like, I don't know, 2000 words on, oh well they might say this and then, uh, but there's different opinions and blah blah blah. But when it comes to research, uh, first of all, we had to come up with our completely own topics. No one was giving us a question to answer. We had to work it all out by ourselves. And for me, that was the hardest part, like trying to figure out what exactly what question I should be asking. And it has to be specific enough, even though a lot of us hadn't done philosophy or science before. So we all had to figure it out along the way. And then because it's research, you're essay or dissertation of 5,000 or 12,000 words has to include a piece of original original research and I did used to think okay that that's crazy to me a piece of original research in philosophy to me a piece of original research in philosophy is like Wittgenstein coming up with the whole concept of language games or Karl Popper coming up with the falsification principle, like quite big philosophical strides. Like they've come up with a whole new way of thinking and dealing about things. And I thought that was what research was in philosophy. But no, to be original in, now this tip can apply to essays as well at undergraduate, but to be original in a philosophy essay, to do a little bit of original research or whatever, it can just be coming up with a new response to a problem that's been talked about. It can be coming up with a different answer to a problem that's already been talked about. It can be applying someone's response to a different problem. So so you could take someone's criteria for solving something and then just reapply it to something completely different. Or it can just be like a new perspective on things. It doesn't have to be something brand new and I mean you only have 5,000 words to present this so you, you're not really expected to come up with a whole brand new idea of thinking but what is it the important original part is coming up with a new way of looking at things, a new way of answering a question or suggesting and reapplying someone else's way of answering a question if that makes sense. And with that, uh, let's go on to my research, which is three essays and a dissertation, all on different topics. And I research like my own ideas for them. And these will be good examples of what counts as philosophy research, I suppose. The first essay I wrote on the direction of time, which might sound weird, but there's actually a type of subatomic particle that decays in such a way that it wouldn't do the same if you reversed time. So what that means is that time isn't symmetrical and hence it has a direction. And this is like my first essay so, so long ago, but um, it was about coming up with a way of arguing that yes, time does have a direction and looking at different theories on that. My second essay was on animal consciousness. This one I remember even less well <laughs> about what I did, um, but I looked at different criteria and I looked at whether animals have sentience because this is quite, this topic is on the forefront of a lot of ethical things right now. Like it was only very recently that lobsters were decided to be sentient and feel pain. 
So I think philosophical research in that area does have some really important results. In my third essay, I wrote it on game theory. I wrote it on something called the stag hunt, which is a bit like the prisoner's dilemma. Um, and I applied someone else's criteria to the stag hunt to work out like if a situation was profitable or not. And then for my dissertation, which I just finished, I wrote it on scientific pluralism, which is about having lots of different scientific ideas. And the concept of scientific pluralism brings up an issue um, about if you're having lots of ideas, how can you keep out damaging ideas like creationism and Scientology? And I wrote about how we could possibly do that. I wrote about a potential way that we could resolve this issue in scientific pluralism and I refuted other philosophers' ideas because what also can count as original research is coming up with a new criticism of a philosopher's idea, a new refutation of something. Even if it's already been refuted, if you can come up with a different reason why it's not tenable, then that's another original style of thinking and I think that point in particular is important for philosophy undergraduates to keep in mind when they're writing essays because often undergraduate essays are marked a little bit on originality of ideas and yeah you could suggest that if you happen to be a philosophy undergraduate and watching this but yeah I hope that gives you a flavour of not just what philosophy research is but specifically what philosophy of science is all about and what sort of things we study and it's an absolute fascinating topic and there are so many other topics I wish I could research but you just don't have the time because I just think oh this is so interesting I really want to get down this rabbit hole. Yeah it's amazing how far it stretches philosophy of science um, you know and you can research history of science as well but I didn't do that but yeah it's really really cool and if you are like a scientist who quite likes essay writing then you should definitely look into taking some sort of philosophy of science module because it's really cool and yeah if you've got any more questions about research or philosophy research then pop it in the comments and I'll answer them in a future video and thanks for watching bye